Um, can anyone take a guess what this animal is? <laughs> yes, a baboon. Um, so they're not the most beautiful animals out there, but um, as you can see, this one's smiling. And in a few seconds, I'll educate you guys um, why uh, its rel relatives have no positive stimuli to smile about, as this one does. Okay, so before I start, I'd like to introduce you guys to the definition of speciesism, which is the failure to accord any non-human equal consideration and respect, according to Joan Dunair, um, who is an animal rights advocate. Um, speciesism should be abolished because of the negative effects um, animals suffered through forced participation of research, labor, neglect, and first I will be proving to you guys that speciesism does exist in society, and then I'll provide some possible solutions that can be used to resolve the issue of speciesism. Um, research. So animals are not our tasters. A hidden footage showed baboons as crash test dummies with helmets glued to their heads and then struck with pistons. It also showed that there were operations without anesthesia used, non-sterile conditions, and with smoking researchers, which is a big problem. Now clearly, speciesism exists according to Lisa Yant, who is an accredited author of many science books. Not mere re reduction in the animals used is going to do anything, nor more generous use of anesthetics that is possible at the price of violations of animal rights. Not larger cages, but empty cages. Total abolition is probably the best humans can do when it comes to using animals in science. labor. The welfare of animal attraction is very often poor, particularly doing, during the plowing seasons, according to Professor Meller at the Institute of Food, Nutrition, and Human Health. <coughs> now again, speciesism is a problem. Giving animals on farms more space, more natural environments, more companions, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to right the fundamental wrong. Um, any more than giving animals in laboratories more anesthesia, anesthesia um, or bigger, cleaner cages. For similar reasons, this requires nothing less than total eradication of speciesism. Um, the 28-hour act governs shipping of live animals to feedlots and slaughterhouses, but fails to, perfect, to protect the animals um, that suffer from the inhumane techniques um, at these slaughterhouses. Each animal, according to Professor Pluhar of philosophy, um, each animal is run along the chute, then rendered unconscious by a blow to the head, hoisted by its legs to a conveyor line, and then its throat is slit um, for it to bleed to death within seconds. Now, a question that arises here is, is this really all necessary? Well. Some possible solutions that I can propose is humans and research um, that consent can be used instead of animals without their consent. Um, and also mechanical replacements of animal traction like machinery, things like that, could also replace um, brutal manual labor that animals have not even given us uh, permission to use and silent death of animals to be killed, such as pigs. You no, know, we all eat pigs and um, meat and things like that. Um, so instead of brutally killing them at slaughterhouses, why don't we just you know, produce a syringe or a shot of a higher dosage of sleeping pills, let's say. And the possible side effects of these proposed solutions are probably a loss of revenue, income, money, and um, a loss of funds for research. Because expensive machines are, you know, 
they're pricey, um, and you can't breed machines like you can with animals, so you'll probably need a lot of money. And then med medications of all shapes and forms are usually always indeed pricey as well. So taking a look at the opponent side, um, opponents to the liquidation of speciesism say that animals are not human. And from this, we can imply that they're saying animals do not have rights, therefore. But even, like, do dogs and dolphins are obviously not human beings. Um, while true, this fact provides no reason um, for thinking that animals do not have rights. Uh, the most reasonable interpretation is that animals are not members of human spe uh, species. Um, however, this biological truth has no moral import. Um, in summary, these were the three arguments that mitigate eradication of speciesism, um, research, labor, and neglect. Um, Darwin said humans are animals too. Be one who squirms um, and rises in support of your fellow mistreated animals as they do.